In this video, you're going to learn exactly what you are buying when you purchase the Penguin Encounter at SeaWorld Orlando, and if it's worth it for you. We had a great time, but there are some things you should know before buying. You're going to learn what this experience entails, where it is in the park, and how to evaluate if it's worth your time and money. So sit back, relax, because it's time for theme park travel tips. In late February 2021, I took my girlfriend Taryn to do the Penguin Encounter at SeaWorld, which has been one of her dreams for a long time. Yes, we had an incredible experience, but I think you should know specifically what your adventure will entail before you buy it. First of all, there are two different penguin experiences available at SeaWorld Orlando, which I admittedly was not aware of when I was buying this. For the Penguin Encounter experience, the one we did and what this video is about, you're going to spend approximately 20 minutes in the habitat of Magellanic penguins. This means the environment is going to be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. We each brought a coat just in case, but we didn't need them. It turns out 60 degrees is very refreshing weather when the outside temperature is in the 80s. I was quite comfortable in shorts, t-shirt, and flip-flops, and I think you'll be too as long as it's in the 70s or higher outside. You should be aware the website description is accurate. You get to meet and pet one penguin, one person at a time. One of the animal keepers will spend about 15 to 20 minutes presenting and you are able to ask as many questions as you can fit in. I highly recommend asking questions because that is how you get your money's worth here. There are very prone to things like cataracts as well. Um, and that's because the amount of time that they spend on the surface of the water, the reflection will cause cataracts. We usually start seeing that when they're around 15 to 20 years old. Um, and so out in their natural habitats, if you start to go blind, you're not going to make it. Here we have a human optometrist that will come in and perform cataract surgery on them. So they don't even have to worry about that sort of thing. Additionally, our keeper told us that she really appreciates it when the crowd asks questions to make it more engaging for everyone. Shout out to Lynette for making our time special and knowing literally everything and all the answers to everyone's questions. If you're enjoying this so far, definitely hit that like button so I can turn this hobby into a career and continue to give you the absolute best theme park information on how to spend your time and money as wisely as possible in the theme parks. Okay, back to the penguin encounter. There are no hidden gifts like free photos, plush, or pins, nothing. Of course, you can take as many pictures and videos as you'd like, which to me is worth way more than any physical souvenir. As always, let's talk about those prices. During the week, the Penguin Encounter is $35, which I would say is on the high end, but still fair for a theme park upcharge experience. But on the weekends, they hike it up to $45 per person. Now for a 20 minute experience, I would say $45 is really pushing that upper limit. Okay, so when I went to grab a screenshot for this video, I learned the price can go all the way up to $55 on busy weekends. That is where I would draw the line and say it's just not worth it unless you are the absolute most diehard Penguin fan and will never be back to SeaWorld. We had a blast because we were celebrating a birthday and we knew what we wanted to do. But if you're a casual park goer and only have one day here, I don't think this is the best use of your time and money. If you have an annual pass and are looking for new SeaWorld experiences, I would say this is a great place to start, but definitely try to go during the weekdays so you don't have to spend an extra $10 per person plus tax on top of that. The other Penguin experience is called the Penguins Up Close Tour, and this is a 45 minute tour in 30 degree weather. Here you'll visit the cold weather penguins and it's most likely to be a king penguin that you meet and spend time with. That is all the information I have on the Penguins Up Close Tour. If you want this reviewed and think we should do this next, drop a note in the comments and we'll definitely consider it. If you enjoyed this information, consider subscribing so you can always get the most up-to-date information on theme park prices, reviews, and general tips. So that's everything you need to know. As always, feel free to drop any additional questions in the comments and I will answer within 24 hours. Have fun, be well, and thanks for watching Theme Park Travel Tips.